When did live music die? And I don't just mean live concerts or gigs, I mean anything that gives the illusion or the impression of being live these days just isn't. Every day I flick through social media like we all do and I see amazing videos of guitar players and singers doing amazing performances that aren't real. It's very very common these days for musicians to have a pre-recorded track and then they dub that track over a live video of them performing it but they're not performing it because it was already pre-recorded and perfected. Guitar players might put out a video of them playing an amazing guitar solo, it's note perfect you know, but you don't know how it was recorded. It might have been recorded one note at a time for all we know. And it's not just guitar obviously, it's singing covers to you know, vocals that have been absolutely auto-tuned the hell out of. And they've just taken absolutely every slight imperfection out and just replaced it with this very robotic perfected vocal and then again taking it and dubbing it over the top of a video of them performing it like it's live when it isn't and i'm not saying this to call anyone out because you know what i'm guilty of this too here on my youtube channel my tiktok my instagram anywhere that i post videos i have posted videos where i have pre-recorded a guitar track and then filmed a video and then put that pre-recorded track over the video but i get it you know because as musicians we're all in competition with each other when other people are putting out things that sound amazing we need to feel like our stuff sounds amazing as well so that it can keep up with it and it can obviously not necessarily compete in a bad way but obviously just hold up you know because if everyone else's level is up here and you feel like your level's there you want to try and bring it up a little bit it makes sense and it's just birthed this mindset that whatever we upload needs to be perfect to get people's attention and if it's not perfect if it's not a hundred percent accurate then it won't work you know or you'll get some bad comments or something like that and since then it just feels like all personality and authenticity has just gone has it not and i saw this the other day have a look at this you're scared oh yeah you're scared but Obviously somebody just busking in the street and it's a nice moment on the video as well, you know, they're singing and somebody turns around to look. You don't know if it was staged, that's the other side of social media that for all you know they told that woman to walk and turn around and look. Like, I, I don't want to think that that happened but we never know do we? But the main point is obviously that's somebody busking and performing live in the street but that track that we hear is clearly not live. It might have been captured live and then later on they've taken that vocal and auto-tuned it and fixed it with reverb and all sorts of different effects to make it sound amazing. What we hear wasn't what happened then live. And obviously no, I don't know for absolutely certain what this creator has done with their audio on this video, but you know, my ears are, are pretty certain in this case. And again, I'm not saying this with any negativity towards this creator. We're all musicians, we're all doing what we need to do to try and get some attention on social media, you know, with our music and performing and things. Look at all the comments as well as people saying, you know, mesmerizing, I would have stopped too. Your voice pulled her back. What an incredible voice you have. It's so effortless. It's do people even watching this realize, do they not know, you know, can they not hear that this wasn't necessarily how it might have sounded live, you know? Not to say that it sounded bad originally, we don't know. I would personally prefer to hear how it sounded originally, you know, and even on this clip there, there's no audio, there's no sound of the actual street. If this was a live performance, you'd hear the singing, you'd hear the music, you'd also hear the people in the background, you'd hear general street noise and there's none of that on this clip. But what are the side effects of all this perfection? Why is it such a bad thing? And I think the main answer to that and at least my biggest issue with this is that it just creates unrealistic expectations. It's like people are forgetting what live music actually sounds like. It's not meant to sound perfect, it's meant to sound human. Take for example a little while back Liam Gallagher from Oasis performed at the boxing match and he did a few Oasis songs and the backlash from that, the amount of people who were posting on social media about how bad he sounded. And people were saying that they were so happy that they didn't manage to get Oasis tickets because if he sounds like that, then, you know, that sounds bad. That's not worth the money. I'm glad I didn't pay for that and all that sort of stuff. When, you know, being realistic, it sounded fine. It sounded great, in fact, considering Liam Gallagher's in his 50s. But everything about this performance was real. The band were playing their instruments and Liam obviously was singing. There's no backing tracks. There's no extra vocals on track or anything like that. It's just him. And even at one point, he misses his cue to start singing. So clearly this is live because if this was on track, 
that vocal would have still been there even though he wasn't singing, you know, but because it wasn't there, it's because he missed it because he's singing live. And the people that complain saying how bad it sounded, it's again, it's like they have absolutely no idea what real live music sounds like. It sounds like that. But it's not surprising really when so many mainstream artists these days aren't even performing live at their own shows. And I saw this amazing clip the other day of Mariah Carey. I don't know when this was, but the caption says how her playback failed on a live performance at seven o'clock in the morning. So she had to sing live because the playback, the, the track failed. So she had to do it live. If that's true and she had a playback track that failed and she had to sing that live unexpectedly that is an amazing performance everything about that looked live even when she was moving ahead with the microphone the volume dipped when the microphone was further away from her voice that's another sign that somebody's not actually performing live when they have a microphone and they're moving it about like that and the volume isn't even changing slightly you know i see that quite a lot too but she was like this and you could hear the volume going in different sort of stages and she was putting a lot of emphasis into that performance it's like she was using her whole body to get those notes out some of it was pitchy some of it had some voice cracks and things like that but that didn't matter because then she saved it with these amazing notes in between you know it's a really really awesome performance compare that with this performance of mariah singing the same song To me that's night and day different it still sounds really good but what she's doing there looks nothing like the other performance all the notes are there but with minimal movement it's not like she was trying to force those notes out like she was doing in that last video it's just like kind of stood there and singing it but all the notes are still perfect you know and i don't even know if that's physically possible even for an amazing singer like mariah carey and her facial expressions as well like what she was doing with her face didn't seem to match what was coming out. And there's one word specifically in this one which gave it away for me, it's the word baby. What we hear is baby, like an eh sound on the end of baby. But what she clearly sings, if you look at her mouth, she sings it more like baby, because b and be is a different mouth movement. Check it out. There. Even the comments in this video are actually starting to question this, you know. The mic was on, and then someone's replied, the mic was on vacation. Mariah doesn't give a F anymore. I just don't understand it. Not live, but I get it. Preserve what's left. And that person there also says you can see the difference in E versus A vowels. So I'm glad I'm not the only person who noticed that. And even her whole demeanour in this, I really hate to say it because Mariah is an amazing singer, but that just, it just looks lazy in comparison to that other video. It's the same thing as well also these days when bands are in the studio recording their albums and their songs. Gone are the days of trying to get a really, really good take of somebody doing an amazing performance in the studio to put that on the album. Especially with singers, it's like sing a line and then sing the next line and then sing the next line and then add this word in there and then if anything's wrong, we'll just cut it out and then put it in again later. It's not a performance, it may as well be a bloody jigsaw. Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden, arguably one of the best rock and metal vocalists. Listen to what he has to say about that whole kind of recording process. Because you just do what you do, which is perform. You go and stand in front of a microphone or with a guitar or whatever, and you just let rip. And you don't worry about somebody going, just a minute, hang on, we're going to drop you in, drop you in on the word the. Ready? Great performance, the. Bang. 
and you start halfway through a line. It's appalling. I mean, it's a terrible way to, to do things. And again, I get it. It's because everything's in competition. You know, everything has to sound perfect and compete with the other things that also sound perfect. You know, that and also it costs a fortune to be in a studio. So, you know, being in studios for long periods of time to try to record something and spend ages getting a good take, you know, time is money. And I don't know about you guys, but I genuinely struggle these days to enjoy any new music. As soon as my ears pick up on vocals and guitars and anything that has just been absolutely perfected to the point of it not even sounding human anymore I just switch off and I guess going forward I just love to see more musicians start to get more comfortable again with posting and uploading the real live playthroughs of whatever it is that they're doing if it's a live performance busking in the street post the audio of how it actually sounded you know be proud of what you can do as a musician let's all stop falling into this trap of thinking that we have to perfect things and fix things and make everything so kind of amazing before we can upload it because honestly that's not what music's all about music is the expression music is you know feeling and personality is it not but anyway what do you guys think can this be fixed or is it just going to get worse leave me a comment let me know